When it comes to video games, most of them are great for different reasons. Some people might enjoy the gameplay, and other people might enjoy the story. What we are talking about today are the games with insanely good soundtracks. One thing that makes most games enjoyable is the music that plays for certain scenes. There are games that don't have any music at all, but that is a design choice. But the games with soundtracks that make the game what it is are unforgettable if you have played them. Some of the games on this list are ones that we haven't played, but appreciate the music that makes them so good. There are plenty of games with great soundtracks out there, so we are sure to leave out a ton of good ones. So here are the 10 best games with unforgettable soundtracks. We are starting out strong with game soundtracks on this list. If you haven't heard the Super Mario 64 soundtrack, then you are living under a rock. Even if you haven't played it, you probably have heard it on social media or on YouTube videos. It is one of the most iconic soundtracks out there. The game came out back in 1996 and has been a staple for the speedrunning community for many years. The most memorable song is when you go to bob -omb Battlefield. It is extremely upbeat and we guarantee that you hear the song at least once in your life. The song when you are running around the castle is also extremely memorable for us because we love just exploring it. It is one of those super nostalgic games that we played back when we were little. We consider it the best Mario game to date, and a close second is Mario Odyssey. That game also has a really good soundtrack, but there's nothing better than the OG soundtrack from Mario 64. Also, another great song is when you are exploring Wet Dry World. It has a very unique soundtrack that made the level super fun. Subnautica is one of those games that we wish we could forget and play through again. Not only does it have a great gameplay, but the soundtrack just makes the game so good. If you don't know what Subnautica is, it's a survival horror game where you crash land on an alien planet where everything is covered in a giant ocean. So the whole game is about you exploring massive underwater locations. Music just makes the atmosphere of the game so eerie and creepy, so if you do play the game, make sure you don't have thalassophobia. The game takes you thousands of meters under the water and you will need to find all sorts of scrap to build bases and survive. You also have an oxygen meter that you need to watch out for. It is one of those survival games that we go back to every once in a while because of just how fun it is. Although it isn't as scary when you know what to do, so your second playthrough won't be as scary. But the music in the game makes the atmosphere that much better. If you like survival games and a great soundtrack, then you should definitely check out Subnautica. If you enjoy top-down 8-bit games, then you are in luck. Hotline Miami is one of those games that stick out to you if you are looking for an indie game. The game is about a man who is asked to commit a ton of murders, and you go around from place to place just massacring everyone in these locations. It's a pretty depressing game, but the gameplay is extremely fun. We can't go into more of the story for spoilers sake, but what we can tell you is that it gets crazy. The soundtrack is what keeps you going though. There is 8-bit upbeat music playing the entire levels you are playing, and it is almost a rhythm game with how fast the gameplay can be. Hotline Miami 1 and 2 have extremely good soundtracks and it's totally worth getting the games over. The soundtrack was made by a bunch of different artists and consists mostly of synth sounds. This just makes the 8-bit style to the game that much better. Apparently, they were having a lot of issues with the soundtrack before the game launched and found someone that made music that they liked. They eventually hired this person named Moon and made what the soundtrack is today. Hades is one of those indie games that is truly unforgettable. It's about the son of Hades named Zagreus, and you are to fight your way out of the underworld. It is a roguelite, and the game has you completing a ton of different runs throughout the world. If you are familiar with roguelites, then you know how these games kind of work. You are supposed to die so you can get upgrades to get farther than you did before. From the menu, the music is actually incredible. It takes place in a world that is based on Greek mythology, so the music is very eclectic, if you are familiar with music terms. There's also a ton of random artists that made music for the game as well that just makes it that much better. Every song in the game is great, and it's totally worth getting the game for. If you play the game, you know what we are talking about. Even Hades 2, which is currently in early access as of this video, has an amazing soundtrack as well. If you enjoy great music, then you will really like the soundtrack to Hades.
The Final Fantasy series is one that we have never played. The closest thing to the series that we played is the Final Fantasy XVI demo on the PS5, but even then, we didn't really enjoy the gameplay all that much. Putting that aside, the soundtrack to the games are absolutely incredible though. Most people say that the Final Fantasy VII and X have the best soundtracks, but that's going off of other people's opinions. The newer Final Fantasy games have some insane music, and people say that Final Fantasy XIII has some great music as well. The online FF game is considered one of the best MMOs out there, and people really enjoy that music in that as well. There really isn't that much we can say about this franchise, because we aren't really familiar with it, but we do know what the fanbase is absolutely huge. The music in all the games are ones that sit in people's playlists everywhere. If we do get into the franchise, we can definitely look forward to the soundtrack that it delivers to all its players. This is another franchise that we have never really gotten into, but we heard some of the music and know that it is worth playing the games for. The music is more metal and screamo than we like, but there are a ton of great music tracks that make the game what it is. The most memorable music track that we can think of is from Devil May Cry 5 and is Bury the Light, which has been used in memes and is one of the most listened to tracks from the franchise. The DMC games are some of the weirdest games though if you've played them. The clips that we have seen from the games confuse us every time, but it looks like an interesting ride. We would recommend at least listening to the soundtrack for the game just to see what we are talking about. It might even give you a reason to try the games out for yourself. It is a hack and slash game, so it definitely is for specific audiences. Now we are getting to the really great games, at least for us. Keep in mind that this is our opinion, so we do hope that this doesn't make you mad. Risk of Rain 2 is another roguelike on this list, and it has some of the most unique music out of any game on this list. It has synths like Hotline Miami, but they mix in guitar with it and it works so well with the atmosphere of the game. If you don't know what the game is, you are thrown onto an alien planet as one of a bunch of classes you could choose from. As you defeat monsters and bosses, you slowly get more and more powerful. Eventually, you get so overwhelmed that you will die. You can then start over and try again. That is the gameplay loop. We can't choose a favorite song from the game, all we can do is tell you to go listen to the soundtrack or play the game for yourself. It is one that will relax you and let you enjoy some great music. Even if roguelikes aren't your cup of tea, it's still worth looking into if you haven't played it already. If you aren't familiar with Doom, then I don't know where you've been in the last 25 years. The original Doom games have some of the most iconic music in gaming history and have been used in memes for years. With the newly released reboot of the Doom games, they went absolutely crazy with the soundtrack. If you are familiar with the work of Mick Gordon, then you will know what we mean. He did the soundtracks for both Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, and those games go crazy with their soundtrack. It is all heavy metal and it just sucks you into the game world if you have good audio equipment. It is one of those games that you want to play it for the music. It is almost like a rhythm game. There is Metal Hellsinger, but nothing compares to the music of the new Doom games. The gameplay is also extremely fast paced and keeps up with the music super well. If you like arcade shooters with great music, then go check out the new Doom games. If you haven't played a From Software game, then you are missing out. You have probably heard of Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, Sekiro, Elden Ring, and Armor Core. We would try to pick a single game from them, but we decided to just put everything into one section because we can't choose which one is the best. The boss fight music is some of the most intense music in any game, and the menu music for all the games slaps super hard. It is crazy to think that all these games have insanely good soundtracks. They are by far some of the best soundtracks in all of gaming. If we had to choose a specific game, then we'd probably choose Dark Souls 3's soundtrack because of nostalgia. It was the first Souls-like we ever played, and that is what started our addiction to Souls-likes. If you want to start your Souls-like journey, then we'd probably recommend starting with Elden Ring since it gives the most leeway to new players. When you think of the most iconic game soundtrack, there's nothing more iconic than the Skyrim soundtrack. You can disagree with us all you want, but there's nothing better than throwing on some Skyrim music just to relax to. The world exploration music is some of the most relaxing music you can find, and the main theme is literally everywhere. If you haven't played the game, you probably know a ton of the music from the game because of how much it's used. 
The game is also one that most people have played at least once and is totally worth your time. The soundtrack is also one of the most listened to soundtracks in gaming history and won't ever be topped, not even by Elder Scrolls 6. There's something really unique and great about the Skyrim soundtrack. All the games in this list have amazing soundtracks, but there are plenty of other games that also have great soundtracks. Let us know down in the comments below what games and game soundtracks you like that weren't on this list. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, maybe just consider subscribing if you enjoyed our content. Also, make sure to check out our Discord server, podcast, and website. All links are in the description, and thanks for watching.